Yeah. Love the show. I've been at every season premiere since Good. the series premiere. Yeah. Uh, leading up to this, I was re like telling everybody, it's like, these two are a couple. He dated her. They're sisters. So... But I forgot about the, the abortion with Paul and everything else. So, like, no, there's, there's a lot of sadness. There's so much going on, and like every, everybody just got so fucked up over the season. They, yeah, and they are. I think they've always been messed up. They've always been so messed yeah. up. But these situations that the writers are putting us in make uh, really demonstrate how messed up they really are. Yeah. And I think that's why the fans love it because we're all a little bit messed up. We live in a bit of a broken world. And everyone's having a knock on effect of that. Whatever situation you're in, you're feeling it. Yeah. And I think this is the generation where we, we should start wearing our skins on the outside. Because it's the show's really cathartic with how, like, you see these people are just so depraved. But there's there's depth to, to everyone in there. Like Jimmy just didn't feel good enough so he added the shy to his overly yeah. just to make himself feel it's a bit funny more to a lot of people but it just hi uh, it highlights the insecurities for yeah. me he does he does things he does things all the time that I'm like why has he done that ah, that's why he does that yeah because he's he thinks he genuinely thinks he sucks well I mean when you finally like accepted and started to write the NCIS LA novelizations yeah I have a friend that works on the show, and I showed him that scene. <laughs> Good. And he's like, that's not what a Bible for the show looks like. That's maybe that's, an art. That's, that's, that's Jimmy's uh, yeah. interpretation. Yeah. It's amazing. But, but, yeah. And, and Jimmy's pornos. That's... Oh, yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he's, uh, it's, a, it's an awkward uh, yeah. reveal for him to, that he's reading erotica from when he was 11 years old, something that he wrote as a boy. <laughs> but, like... It's, it, it feeds his narcissism. Yes. Because um, that's yeah, he, 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 he's constantly feeding that narcissism yeah. rather than um, rather than going, actually, I don't want to be like that anymore. He's going, no, no, I'm perfectly fine whatever I'm doing. He's yeah. working. I'm still alive. So, um, but this season's all about, hang on, they've got to change a little bit yeah. if they want to get anywhere. So they've, they've grown a lot, you see, mm. since the beginning. Yes, absolutely. This season even more so. How, like, what's, what's in store for Jimmy for this season? Uh, is he over the there's, death of his there's developments with his book uh, very much professionally he's, uh, he's on the up uh, which is great and uh, relationship wise he's on the down so uh, the two meet in the middle and that's, that's where the chaos comes so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be brilliant but it's a super funny season there's a lot of comedy from season one um, but remembering the, the shit that had happened in two and three yeah. it's an amalgamation of everything that I think uh, people love about the show. Nice. Cool. Thanks. Uh, take cool. it.